So today we are going to see how we are going to use uh, the API section of in Bot Penguin and make the most out of it. So to use your API, you need to go to the developer section inside your Bot Penguin account and navigate to the yours API section. As you can see, we have a lot of APIs listed here. So I'm going to create a new one for you to show you guys how you can use it. First of all, you need to provide a name to your API. Let's just save products API to this one. And then you need to provide a API URL. So for the demo purposes, we'll be using a fake products API. You paste the product uh, API URL here, and then you just click on test for the purposes. You'll see that the response that the API has written all is logged in your response section. So we'll save it before it gets lost. Now, to navigate through the API component completely, this is the parameter section. Parameter section is basically used to append variables in the URL. So if you have a variable you want to append here, you can use it in the parameters. So what benefit this parameter section provide is you can map attribute values here. So what that custom attribute, you can navigate to another video for the same. So this, uh, this was about the parameters. If you want to pass some values in the headers, navigate to the headers tab and then pass same the values here. Here, even here, you can map the custom attributes that you want to map. In the body section, you can, the, according to the data you want to send, you can just make the JSON and then share the, map the custom attribute that is supposed to be sent. You can also send static values here. Now, once this all is done, you can use the manage API responses section to map the response that you have received in the test with the custom attribute. So right now I want to map the custom attribute with the title that I have received in the response. You can see other video for custom attributes, how to create. The link will be available in the description itself. So once you save this, we are done. Now you need to use this API inside your flow. So for the demo purposes, I will be creating a new flow and we'll name it products test. So these are some questions that you will find here by default. You can either change their statements or you can create a new one. So here I'll just change the text that is inside them. Now the next component I want to use is the name component and I want, I want the user to tell their name. So this is the question that is predefined. I'll use the same. Now inside, now to use the API component, you can navigate to the request information tab and use the click on the API component. Once you click on it, you will see fields populated on the right side of the panel. You can choose the API you want to execute while this flow is in play. Now coming to the next part of the API component, uh, if the API responds with a 200 response status code, uh, you can select the next message you want the user to be directed to. So let's just say I'm directing the user to let's try your bot and I'll change the text for this statement. And I'll put an end to the chat at this message. Now there might be scenarios where your API fails because of some scenarios that were unknown scenarios. So what you can do is you can redirect to it another message. So let's just say we start asking the user about their how was their day going. So this is where you can redirect it to. The other section is used in case you encounter an error code that is basically unknown to it. So there might be cases in which your server is down and the API might be responding with the 504 case. So in that case, this will be executed. So I just, I want to do the same with this and I'll be redirecting the chat flow to how are you doing today. Once this is done, the settings are saved, you are good to go. You can test the same with the test live on WhatsApp web button and you will see the changes happening there. To check if your API is ex being executed correctly or not, you can go to the developers section again. Go to your API and you need to navigate to the API that is being executed in the flow and we have an API log section. So here all the logs are being listed and you can check what was the status of the API that was executed. Along with it, there is a status code that is shown that will help you to identify what was the issue if the API was not executed correctly. Thank you for your time and hope you have a good day here.